If you're like me, when you got this M7 monitor out here, you're super excited to connect it to your MacBook Pro, but then you realize the USB-C does not work. I know so, this MacBook USB-C that you're going to use will not work. Um, it's not really meant for an external monitor. But then, even the one that they provide you with, you know, the Samsung, when you buy the monitor, you get it with that. It might not connect on the first try. And there are a couple things you got to do to make it work. Um, I've been just going through forums and pretty much reading up a lot on this, and I'm just confused on why I couldn't just plug in and make it work. So let me show you how it's done. Now here's a sample of what it does when you do connect it with USB-C the first time. It does not. So I connected my laptop to my monitor with the USB-C and it does not detect it. And as you can see, let me move this camera up here, that it's going to give you that whole turning off my device thing to HDMI um, if you don't you know, detect a signal. And this is going to happen um, until you make some settings changes. I would advise you to do this first and test before you conclude that your uh, the whole wire is not uh, compatible yet. All right, guys. The first thing you really want to do is connect your HDMI to your USB-C, just like that, and you want to plug it into your computer, like that. Cool. And once that's done, make sure your HDMI port is correct in your TV. So mine's correct, but just make sure you know how to do it. Go to source and make sure it's HDMI 1. The moment it's HDMI 1, it should populate right there. So it's HDMI 1 connection. Cool. Now that you have um, your MacBook and your monitor connected, you simply want to go into settings. And let's see, go into your settings and click on display. And it's going to actually gather a window here and on your monitor as well. So what you do is basically at this point you hit gather windows and let me just show you the whole thing on the Mac. I'm just going to move it over. There we go. So you got to see this on the screen and what you want to do is um, basically if you can see properly there we go. So you see this display and you see the scaled icon right here. So we go in here, for this This is for the monitor, so it says Samsung up here, so it's the monitor. So if you want to click scaled, but before you click scaled, hold on to the option key on your MacBook Pro. So let me show you the option keys right here. So make sure you hit the option key right here, and then click on scaled. So once you do that, you will have option and then option hit scaled. You will get this big menu with different ways to configure your resolution out here. So you see this resolution part right here? You're gonna see this and make sure you click on show low resolution. And it's gonna populate 30 hertz and 60 hertz. Make sure you select 30. And the moment you select 30, um, you can disconnect your USB-C now. So we're going to go back, come back here, and we're going to unplug our USB HDMI cord that we connected, and now we're going to go ahead and connect our, oh, I left L, it's fine. We're going to connect our USB-C. So let's go ahead and do that. The one you connect with the USB-C, it's going to, it's going to, you're going to have to change your input again to USB-C. So let's go ahead and click USB-C up here and this time it should work. Cool. So now we have the resolution and everything set and scaled. Now you can pretty much do anything you want here but it's at 30 hertz, right? So before it was at 60 so the USB-C connector did not work but now after this setting it should help you out connect to your M7 Samsung monitor. So that's the way to do it. Um, another way I would say is if this doesn't work out for you, I would simply go into settings. Let's see, and yeah, just go to settings and then open it up. Go to general, external devices manager. Make sure input signal 
plus has all these checked so you want all these highlighted and then you can just close it and that's another thing you want to check before if it doesn't work out but yeah make sure you change it to 30 hertz and now you can just pretty much use it um, before it just wouldn't work awesome have a good day guys